Right, I need to do this, I need to heal. Move the fuck back. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I was too busy losing my goddamn mind. The Crucible Knight was the hardest enemy I came across in Elden Ring so far, and I died a total of 83 times against him. So sit back, relax, and turn your headphones down, because it's going to be a loud one. Firstly, I wanted to put a big bonk build together, which in layman's terms means a high strength with a massive fucking sword build. I'm not going to take credit for this, I'll leave a link in the description of where I got this build from. Ah! You're a big rat. Fuck that shit. Oh, you can come down. I just wanted that. Fix up. How are you supposed to dodge that? How is that missed? But do you see how big this fucking sword is? How am I missing? Okay, don't know how I didn't dodge that, but alright. Lo lovely, 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 like, I love how I've just missed that. Oh, that's a triple, is it? Nice, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Ash of War, Lion's Claw. And then it was time to face off against Godric. And I got absolutely worked on. Right, okay, I can't see anything. No way. I'm already dead. Oh no. Yes, hit that perfect. Ah, oh, mate. This guy's useless, mate. Ah, oh, I was trying to get some cheeky hits in there. Yeah, we get it. You cut your arm off, big boy. Ah, quick! Staggered, nerd. Oh my god, that had so much damage. Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna outrun it again. Let's go. See you later, nerd. I decided to explore some caves, get some smithing stones, just so I could level up the greatsword to become an absolute beast. Well, I've got no flasks. Me. 
maybe this will go well. Okay, that was easy. From random exploration, I came across this fog gate, and I didn't know at the time that this would become the biggest challenge I've faced so far in Elden Ring. Oh, there's two. Why is there two? Right, that's one dead. Introducing the Crucible Knight. Now, I struggle with this enemy so much, I think mainly due to my build, and I'm still relatively new to the game, so if you miss time one dodge, he will serve you a five-piece combo of death. Ah, oh, delay. He just grew a tail and wings. What the fuck? It's also quite a tough fight as well because you need to kill the misbegotten warrior as quick as you can before the Crucible Knight spawns in or you just get tag teamed and it's not a fun time. Oh, you little bitch. I'm dead. I'm in a corner, bruv. Go away, brother. I can't. Just I can't be bothered, mate. Ah, oh, we're greedy. No! He's got a bit of bajillion poise, bruv. I can't fucking do any damage to him. I can't do any damage to him. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I need you more now than ever, you stupid dog. Again. Fucking aggro the dog, bruv. He's just done it three times in a fucking row! Fuck off, mate! Stop spamming the same attacks! It, uh, it's just silly. It's just, it's really fucking silly. I took a break from it for a little while as I died 50 plus times from it, and I farmed these guys for a little while just to get some better armor pieces, and I had to change my build up ever so slightly and take them back on. I reverted back to the Bloodhound's Fang so I was a bit quicker, and I equipped this shield on my back which passively increases my bleed build up, so I could take down the Misbegotten Warrior faster, meaning I could focus more on the Crucible Knight afterwards. Let's, let's get this guy, let's get close, let's get close and personal. Keep the dogs alive. Spam him. That's savage. I've got time to heal, I've got time to heal. Let's fucking go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, holy shit. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down below in the comment section and hit that like button because it really helps the algorithm. Make sure you sub and click on that notification bell just so you get told every time I post. Most importantly, take easy out there. Peace.